How's it going everybody? This is Pete the Bush. A while ago, I was watching a How It's Made video on soy sauce and I came across this soy sauce where they were doing some artisanal soy sauce and they were making it in small batches and stuff. So after watching it, I was like, oh wow, that looks really good. And so I got suckered into buying this soy sauce here. This little bottle is about $10, $10.50 or so. Regular bottles are I think about three times the size of this and it's only about $2.50. So it's about 10 to 12 X as expensive. Now I haven't opened this yet, so I don't know what it tastes like. So I figure I'm gonna taste it, but not just by itself. So I got some sushi over here to try to see if it pairs well with this. Apparently they make this in small batches and also they make it inside bourbon oak barrels. So it's supposed to give it a good flavor. I'm gonna compare it with some of this soy sauce that comes with the sushi. I bought this as a takeout. You can see here I got a few pieces of sushi and if you eat enough of it, you can identify them from what they are just by the look of them. This is tuna, the red tuna, not the fatty part or the medium fatty part. Red snapper, this is otoro, the, the belly part, and this is albacore with some ginger, lemon, and wasabi. And over here I got some white tuna or escolar and there's a little bit of eggs on top of it. Here's a salmon, uh, not the belly part but just the regular salmon. This is a hirame, yellowtail, and an eel. All this actually didn't come like this, I just replated it just to make it look pretty. Um, it did come with this orchid though. So let me just try the soy sauce first before trying it with the sushi. Smells like regular soy sauce. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try the special stuff first. It's salty. It's not particular aromatic or anything. Okay, I'm gonna rinse my mouth with some green tea. Tastes very regular. Hmm. This cheap packet stuff tastes a little bit more salty, a little bit more watery, and it doesn't seem like your mouth is as full when you're eating the soy sauce. If given a blind taste test, I would prefer this special one, but I don't know if it's worth the extra price. I would probably pay, I don't know, a little bit more, not, not certainly not 10 times as more, because a normal bottle of soy sauce is about 250, so maybe I'll pay like three, 350 or something for, for this type of flavor. So I got the bunch of sushi here and there is a particular order you're supposed to eat the sushi. Of course in between the pieces you may want to cleanse your palate with some of the ginger so that the next piece won't taste like a mixture of the previous piece and you won't get your flavors confused. There's a general order I can't just say you know every single one have a particular order but definitely you want to have the eel last because that's sweet. Generally you want to have things that are really bland towards things that are more flavorful towards the end. However, you might want to eat something that's really, really good or the more expensive stuff early on because you get the most satisfaction from the first piece that you eat. By that, I would eat the Toro here as the first piece and then I would do the bland stuff. This is the Hirame, is one of the more blander fish so I would go with that next. And then the Thai, the red snapper here is also pretty bland. They're kind of on par in terms of blandness. So I would go with those. And then the rest is kind of like a toss up uh, in terms of ordering. Um, I would have the albacore next to the last because it has this really pungent um, ginger grate on it. Um, so I would put that next to the last. So this escolar salmon, yellowtail, and the regular tuna, I would just, you know, you can just pretty much eat any order you want in the middle. Like anybody else, you just take some of this wasabi, mix it in with your soy sauce. You know, if I mix the wasabi into the soy sauce, it's probably going to cover up the flavor of the soy sauce. But let's see. No, I still like the... yeah. I got the soy sauce mainly to try something new and I'm afraid maybe I might have made a mistake because if I, if I actually like this, it'll actually be more expensive. I have to actually get it um, all the time from now on if I want to have some good sushi. So there's a dilemma. 
So for me, I like to eat it in this special way that I, I, you know, I don't know anyone else does this. But after I mix the wasabi in with the soy sauce, I take my chopstick and I just put a few on top. Put some soy sauce on top, just maybe two, three times like that. And when I eat it, I like to eat it upside down. People, some sushi chef says, oh, you're not supposed to do that. You just put the whole thing in with the rice on the bottom towards your tongue. But some other one says you need to flip it upside down and put it on your tongue. I like that method better because the fish touches your tongue more and so you have a better experience. You're, you're always eating uh, something, you're, you're always tasting the fish rather than um, the rice. So I'd go like this, you eat the whole thing at the same time and then you just flip it upside down like this. Mm. Mm. Yeah, this is this is Otoro. I'm surprised they put this in in this order. This is just a um, nigiri dinner with nine pieces. Okay, this Otoro, if it came from a super master sushi chef, there would I wouldn't have to chew as much because in between the pieces of meat, there's these layers, right? And if they choose it right, these layers. I wouldn't have to chew them. Sometimes they like to just cut in between the layers and have the pieces of sushi uh, come out so you don't even have anything to chew and it'll make things a lot uh, meltier. So yeah, that's very, very good. So I'm going to eat the next one, the hirame over here. I'm going to put the other soy sauce on top. I probably won't be able to tell the difference because most of the flavor is from the fish, not the soy sauce. It just kind of complements it. No. I can t I can actually taste the soy sauce. The cheaper one. It's a little sharper in in terms of saltiness, like. Like, I don't know, if, if, if there's a spectrum of, of saltiness, it's like really sharp, like bang, like that. Whereas this one, it's like kind of like rounded off. So let me tell you a little bit more about this soy sauce because I'm gonna leave a link down below if you want to get this soy sauce. That's a little bit overpriced, but I'll leave it there anyway. It's made from water, non-GMO soybeans, wheat, salt, and yeast. They make it handcrafted. This sauce is from the only small batch soy sauce brewery in the United States. It's made from the whole non-GMO Kentucky grown soybeans and pure limestone filtered Kentucky spring water. It is brewed and aged in bourbon barrels. The result is smoky, brothy sauce with hints of oak and mild sweetness. Smoky, huh? It says smoky. Very, very slight smoky. There's a slight sweetness to it, yes. And I don't really know what bourbon tastes like really just off top or Kentucky bourbon, so I wouldn't know. On this bottle here, it says batch 162-16, bottle number 586. So, um, I mean, it's handwritten, so I guess that's cool. It's a 100 milliliter bottle, all natural, preservative free, refrigerate after opening for quality. Okay. That's um, that's very nice. Anyway, let me just try this uh, red snapper here. I go like this. This is my quirky way of eating the sushi. Mmm. Your fish is good quality. Mmm. Now that red snapper, compared to hirame, red snapper is kind of like bursty. Um, when you chew it, it, it takes a little bit before it would break. Whereas hirame, once you chew into it, it's kind of mushy, so then it just goes bleh, like that. Whereas red snapper, you, you bite into it, it's kind of like a balloon, and it goes pop. So here's the escolar. I'm gonna put some on, like my usual. It's not bad, I paid like 20 bucks. The tuna this time. 
this tuna looks good because um, it looks very tender and not like the regular tuna where um, it's sort of see-through. I don't know how, how to how to describe it, but this looks almost like chu toro, the middle kind. Let me put some soy sauce on there. Mmm, chu toro. Mmm. Mmm. Actually, this is not just tuna, it's chu toro. I like chu toro even more than o toro because o toro is the fatty part. It tends to be a bit more bouncy. Whereas chu toro, it's the middle part, so it have the best of both worlds. To me, that should be the most expensive, but it isn't. It's the middle, they, call, they consider it the middle grade, but I like the chu toro the most. Very good, very good. I have a feeling this chu toro, it's a uh, bluefin tuna. Because bluefin tuna, when you eat it, it tastes slightly bloody. Um, there's this slight bloody taste to it. That's how I can tell it's bluefin. Okay, so let's go on to this regular salmon here. By the grain of it, it's very narrow. It means it's kind of not the belly part, so it's not the fatty part, but it doesn't really matter anyway because when I look at this, you can see it's kind of bright orange, which means it's a farm tuna. Farm tuna, no good, but eh, I'm going to eat it anyway. We farm it, they feed it these colored uh, stuff to, to, to turn it into uh, more orangey. Um, what can you do? Uh, it, this, it still tastes very buttery and, you know, tastes good. I don't usually eat that much of the ginger stuff, but this is a good time to eat some. Hmm. I tell you, I feel like after you eat the ginger, you gotta drink something too because it's such a strong flavor. You need to, um, after you eat it, you gotta get rid of it so that you can eat the next fish. Okay, next one will be this yellowtail. This yellow tail here looks pretty normal to me. But uh, let me do my regular. I dropped a piece of the rice, so I gotta salvage it somehow. Yellow tail has this distinct flavor. It's not as buttery as salmon. It'd be interesting if I can figure out which fish is which fish blindfolded. I might be able to, I'm not sure. Usually with this albacore, it has a lot of ginger on it. So put just a little bit of soy sauce. Let me try the soy sauce again. Yeah, it's um, it's smooth. Can I say that about soy sauce? It's, it's smooth. Where's this one? The wasabi kind of like hides some of the sharpness. But after tasting, you know, a couple more, yeah, I can I can taste the original, like really sharp, more watery, um, less dimensions of flavor, like like um like the in-between flavors that this one has, this one doesn't. The the cheaper one doesn't have the in-between flavors. But yeah, I don't know, taste-wise. It's very, very different, and I certainly prefer this one. Uh, you know, one cheap soy sauce would do, and if you don't have one side by side to compare, you probably won't notice. This grated ginger, I suppose it's there, because the albacore needs the ginger to cancel out some of the fishy taste. This albacore has a little bit more fishy taste. But then the ginger is so overpowering that you can't taste, like, your, your whole mouth gets filled with ginger. So, yeah, I should have took, taken a little bit more of the ginger out. Uh, albacore is, like, really, you know, like a squishy thing. 
there's no texture really. It's just like when you eat it, it just goes bleh, it just mushes. Well, I had all of it. Now on to dessert. You see, I kind of left out the, the salad. I'll eat that later. I'll have this, the eel. You don't dip it in the soy sauce. You see, I didn't take each sushi piece and dip the rice in it because a lot of people like to just dip it uh, right side up and then the rice gets all salty. Um, I don't like doing that because it just soaks up too much of the soy sauce. And you're not supposed to put that much soy sauce and wasabi in it anyway. Eel is not the freshest. You can taste a little bit of sea. Yeah. Okay, so when you have really good sushi, yes, I would prefer to dip even this $10 one and I would pay to do that. But out of all the pieces, maybe the Otoro, Chutoro, the Red Snapper uh, was worth dipping the expensive one. Because all the other ones, it didn't really make a difference. Um, the it, it needs to be good sushi uh, to pair with good soy sauce because why would you put good soy sauce with, you know, just mediocre sushi. For me, I don't think I'm going to go around buying this all the time. I'm going to probably just finish this um, and just let that be. Uh, maybe in the future, I'll get an itch and go, oh yeah, you know, that taste, soy sauce tasted so good. I want to get it again, but I don't, I don't see that happening uh, very often. Don't forget to give me a like on this video. Comment down below. Let me know what you think of my sushi eating method. And I really hope you try to do the same thing too, because I, I eat it this way because I think um, it's the best tasting, at least in my point of view. And lastly, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.